Lancaster Action News. We've just come down today. Um, I came down yesterday to cover a story about Live Free, and uh, basically, I wasn't expecting that he was going to get re arrested again, and I don't think he would have done either. So, um, I've come down in support, and I'm going to sit outside. We've got the tent set up here, as you can see. So, we're going to just sit siege right outside the police station and just see what happens, see if we can get exclusive footage of him being released from custody and ask him about it uh, I, I can only think that this action that's been taken is as a result of his uh, work against corruption and the situation where he uh, goes and challenges the authorities they, they don't seem to be liking it too much so that's the position that's why we're here today and we're going to be covering that story exclusively um, and as soon as uh, we can we'll give you an update on uh, the situation here we go look the intimidation started already look he's gonna come and talk to me right and uh, he's probably gonna say what you're doing is terrorism and all that crap and try and uh, threaten me it's not gonna work mate it's not gonna work I, I, I'm not confrontational I'm on the other side of the road it, it, it has no bearing on uh, what he's doing. Evening, pal. You all right? Yeah, what's up, mate? Just coming to see uh, what we're up to and what we found in the police station for. I'm covering a story, mate. You're covering a story? Yeah. A story. I don't need to tell you. You don't need to It'll tell be you. released uh, later on. I, I can't release an exclusive to you, mate. No, it is. If it's an exclusive, then by all means, fair. Yeah, it is an Welcome exclusive. To our press office. Uh, I did actually, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you speak to him? Uh, I emailed, so I haven't Email. spoke to anybody directly now. Right. Just but for just for that reason, then can I get your details for a log? No, just no, you can't. Can't mate. get your details. No, no, because uh, am it, I it, not filming me? No. no. Well, I'm not being abusive to you. It's and a public well, place. I'm mate. not being abusive to you. Yeah, but you're filming. You what's what's obviously your community support officer? Community yeah, support so officer. I appreciate your time, mate. Thanks for coming to talk to me. I, I'm not. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm not out here to cause anybody problems. I've come to other side of the uh, other side of the road so that I don't involve any police or anything yeah, like no that. So, so um, that's the situation. Yeah. Obviously, I've, I've, we've got, I'm not, obviously, we're regarding security. Here, oh, give over. We, people have this all, all the time. Can you take the away from me, though, as well, No. No. So, no. Wow. So, because I'm allowed to film in public. Yeah, but you're not allowed to film me in public. Of course I am. Don't be silly, mate. Well, you can give don't, me your don't, details. Don't, no, I can't. No, no, I can't. No, no. No. So, I tell you what, I will do you the courtesy, but don't, try and, don't try and bully I appreciate me. appreciate that. I'm not, hey, I'm not yeah. bullying you. I won't bully anybody. Yeah, well, you just said that about my details and things, and I don't appreciate that. I don't have to. There's no crime committed. I'm on the other side of the road. I yeah. don't want to involve any police with me. Right, that's I'm fine. covering a story. Yeah. Um, and that's it. If I wanted to involve you, I'd have gone over to the other side. I'd have been in that car park, and I'd have gone into there. Into Elmer. And I, and I'd have been cover. I'd, and I'd have been watching what your people upstairs are doing. Right. I'm not a UK auditor. You know what auditing is, dear. I do. Yeah, I'm not an auditor, mate. I'm covering a story. So what, what, what legit. You said you were going to do me decency or your detail. No, I said I'm doing you the decency and not filming your face. So okay. I've moved the camera away from you. That's the decency, mate. Okay. Um, I, I respect you. I respect the police. What I don't respect, and maybe you can advise me. Have you got any comments about the way that the police deal with allegations? No, uh, you'd have to speak to the no. office for that. I thought not because. The situation with with the way that they deal with oh my god what's what's yeah, going on what, the way that you deal with some kind some allegations is 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 is, is not right uh, you don't follow lines of inquiry no. you, you you assume that people who are arrested are lying and and uh, and everything else i don't think what i'm doing warrants a police response to be fair what filming a police building? No, I, d when, I, d when I, I don't. With different security measures. And no, you're like talking that. rubbish. You've just, said, you've just said to me. You're talking you're, absolute you're, rubbish, you mate. Could film, you could point it through windows to see what my colleagues if, are doing. If don't twist things, mate. It's on camera. It's on film. I said that if I wanted to, I could go over there and film, and it's legitimate. Yeah. And there's nothing that you can do about it. The only reason we come over and ask people what they're doing is because obviously it's a police station and counterterrorism and all that. No, give over. You, you're abusing powers. This is why people come out. 
conversation? Yeah, yeah, fine. You're allowed to have a conversation, but have a, have, have a correct one. Don't come over here starting accusing people of things that haven't happened or, or that's no, completely... Um, what well, well, you, you're claiming that there's terrorism and all this lot. When was the last time that a, a police station was bombed or blown up in... Uh, UK. You don't have to be bombed or blown up to be well, a terrorist. Well, I appreciate it. I've seen a car go. I, I saw a car down south. A guy rammed the police station. That is a terrorist attack. I believe so. I don't condone that at all. Not at all. I don't condone any violence against any police officer. And I don't condone uh, a lot of the abuse that you get either. But what, what I'm out here for is covering a story. You've got somebody in custody there that I believe has been targeted. That's the position. So I'm out here waiting for him to come out and I'll get a story and I'll put it out there and I'll be asking your press office about it as well because it's absolutely disgusting. It's also disgusting the way that you, 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 you pursue people losing their jobs over allegations and not following their lines of inquiry. Absolutely disgusting and West Yorkshire Police are guilty of it. Well, it appears that... You, what's your number by the way, please? Thank you. I'm not being abusive. I've got a little bit. I've, yeah, I've, I've I've got a little bit irate about it because be, 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 because people are losing the livelihoods. People are losing the job. When people get arrested in there, we trust you to do your job. We trust you, people. Them numpties up there that are playing clothes. We trust you to do. Um, we trust you to follow. Um, reasonable and proportionate lines of inquiry and when a suspect says that they've got witnesses to a to a crime or that they've got an alibi to their account of where they are why are they not following it why have they not followed it up like I said, so I, I can't speak for my colleagues yeah i know you can't i know you can't um so, like so, say, so, no crime in what you're doing yeah thank you, you doing, all right well i appreciate that i'll be out here all night if i have to um, I'm, I'm not really bothered. I've set up. I've, I've, I've set up. I'm not bothered. Yeah. I hope you're not going to start um, playing any loud music with that boombox. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not here to cause any trouble, so why would I? Um, that, that is purely if, if, if I want to put some music on for myself while I'm here. But um, I'm, I'm not here to cause an issue to any members of the public. I've pulled back off the pavement. That's what I've done. And also, um, I'm not in your boundaries of your police station. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's initially pointing over there because that is part of the story. And if he does come out of custody, well, it's going to have to be in it because that's the majority of people that get arrested. Yeah, I appreciate that. He may have already come out. I think I've spotted him, but I don't want to get the camera on him. I'm just covering the story about it and getting it out there because it's completely wrong. Um, and and, and uh, there's numerous people that it's happening to and, and it's wrong and being targeting. You've, you've sent uh, you've, you've sent armed response round to a guy's house to check on, a, to check on him, a, a welfare check on his children and yeah. sent armed response. Why? I can't speak We don't know, the do we? There might be something behind it for that. Well, I don't think so. Everything I think it's just... Risk, everything gets risk Well, I don't believe it. I don't, I, I, I don't believe it. It might have literally been that we've, we've been dealing with other incidents on response and we've had no one and they've they might have been around the corner. And they might have been only around the corner. That might have been the only reason why. Well, on the particular video that I viewed, at 19 minutes, 43 seconds, your armed response officer can be seen pushing a member of the public for nothing. I have no idea about that incident, yeah. mate. I, well, like I say, I can't well, speak for individuals. Well, that, that guy's trusted to carry a gun. That guy's trusted to I carry a gun. I know you can't. But I don't know those colleagues. I, I, I know you don't. Person, I know right? you don't. And you don't carry a gun yourself. The other thing is, is you've got that flag on them. Uh, a lot of people don't like that. They see that as a sign of brutality, mate. It's um, Do you know yeah. what it's about? No, I know what it's about, but we don't believe that. Yeah, we don't believe it. We, we think that it's a gang sign. Not you personally, but a lot of those officers that wear them. And it's funny, you watch all the videos, you'll be able to see that they're the ones that are assaulting people. So I'm not saying it's you, mate, but it seems to me that there's a lot of people... You haven't got one on, so you're okay. I don't think that you'll uh, do anything uh, to anyone that and, or doesn't deserve it otherwise. Do you know what I mean? And if somebody deserves arresting, arrest them, but don't arrest them for non-crimes. That's what I'm saying. And it's not an attack on uh, 
the place as a whole. We've got a difficult job to do. Right. It is difficult. Right. We're going to get off then. Leave thank goodness for that, mate. Story. Yeah, right. thank, thank goodness for that. I will do. All right, see you later. Bye. So there they go. Um, I can't understand why we, we're, abs we're actually at the other side of the road. Um, they've, that officer there must have got dropped off round the corner and walked and then the van's pulled up. I don't understand why, why they felt it necessary to come and even talk to me. Doesn't make sense. Really doesn't make sense. I mean, I can understand it if I was in the boundaries of uh, the police station. If I was in there and doing it, then fair enough, they can come and talk to us. But yet again, we've got a situation where you're covering a story. You're miles away from, uh, you're absolutely miles away from the police station here. You're not even in their boundary and they still feel that they've got to come over and talk to you and ask you about it PCSO and all this business. It's an absolute joke. What a waste of time. What a waste of money Let me just give you a bit of background uh, into these false allegations the way that they're investigated by the police in 2016 you may have seen uh, Operation Midland uh, basically involved a group of people who were high level, uh, high society class people, political class, that were caught up in a scandal. Basically they were accused falsely of some kind of abuse. You, you, you're welcome to go have a look at that, it's out there in the, in the news um, in, and, and it was reported on. A High Court Judge, Sir Richard Henriquez, basically told the police that they should not be following uh, the lines of inquiry the way that they do so. The way that the police deal with these false allegations is to instantly believe um, the victim. Now that's fair enough if the story is believable, but even in any case, they've got to have an impartiality, some objectivity. And, and, and actually go through the, the process of investigating and the situation with these allegations on, on a number of occasions whether it's uh, you've been accused of rape or whether you've been accused of uh, aggravated assault whatever it is these people are not following the lines of inquiry the way that they should do um, clearly they um, Clearly, they, do, they, they don't follow the lines of inquiry the way that they should do. Hang on, this might be uh, Lefree uh, in that car there. I don't know if it is. Maybe it is. I can't tell. We'll find out if it is in a minute when it comes past. It may well be. Surely these guys may uh, stop and uh, talk to us. If it is him, he may come and uh, talk to us and uh, tell us if it is him. Hang on, guys. It could be. Let's fucking go over. Let's fucking go over. Let's fucking go over and see if it isn't. Fucking might be. I don't think it is. I don't want to put camera on him if it isn't him like. So we'll find out in a minute if it is or not. Don't want to put camera on anyone if it isn't him. Now you can't tell whether it is or not. I can't really tell. Might be. Can't tell, mate. Can't tell whether it is him. Anyway, maybe, maybe it was. I'll still sit out for a while because I expect that the boys are going to come down and um, I expect that they'll be uh, doing an interview outside the police station. So we'll find out. Anyway, the way that the police investigate these crimes is basically to ignore anything that the... Um, they, they basically ignore anything that the, uh, the suspect states and uh, they don't follow up the reasonable lines of inquiry so that's, that's the position, that, that, that's wrong um, so even if you've got anything in defence and you state that uh, you weren't there and you've got witnesses they don't follow that up how's that right? How's that right? So then they charge people and uh, that High Court judge basically said that they were sending people to prison that were innocent. He also uh, 
made highlight of the fact that only 0.1% of uh, allegations were deemed to be false. Um, which I find incredible because um, surely there's uh, a, a higher rate of percentage, surely, off the back of uh, compensation and everything else. You have a look at that. The guy was uh, given a code name, Nick, and um, it, a guy lost, Harvey Proctor, lost his house over it and everything. He then later sued uh, the police. Uh, it was the Met Police. He later sued them and uh, retrieved £900,000 out of them. It's the same one that Lady Brit Britain uh, and Lord Britain, I, I think he was uh, accused of various crimes alongside it. Now, the findings of that report found that the, uh, that the accuser was basically making up false, really serious, stupid, silly allegations that shouldn't have even been followed up really, apart from initially. So if somebody does accuse someone of a, 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 of a crime, we're not saying that he shouldn't be investigated, but what we are saying is that he should be investigated impartially. So what, what this judge basically said, that he found it incredible that the uh, story provided by the uh, accused was, was so out of touch with reality. Um, th this guy had basically said that kids had been murdered d during the 1980s. He, he was a witness to three murders, he, he claimed, uh, and that he was next on the list, yet he was still meeting his abusers. Very serious, silly crimes that people then ended up losing their jobs over and uh, houses. Um, and, and this is the situation right throughout the whole of the um, of, of, of the country with these police forces. Now, West Yorkshire Police are no exception to that. Now, the judge basically said, uh, and he, he, he tried to uh, advise the police college to um, take the position uh, of not not just going on the line of believing the victim but going on impartiality so if 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 that crime had been reported then what we're saying is that the police should have maintained impartiality and, and not gone ahead with uh, just blaming the suspect in for imposing guilt straight away on them not looking at the other side of the story and basically just following everything that the victim states uh, which it later turned out uh, overwhelmingly that the uh, in that particular case that was highlighted that it was a false allegation. Now this is happening numerous times across the country that people are arrested by uh, these police forces and brought into custody, questioned, they give things in defence uh, and those lines of inquiry are not followed up. Anything you may... S if, if, if you fail to mention when questioned something that you later rely on in court, so why are they not following that up? They're supposed to. The police college of um, the, the the police own college basically states that um, the suspects and the victims' accounts should be corroborated. Well, why are they not being corroborated? That's the question to ask. Despite the judge, Sir Richard Enriquez, asking the police and specifically producing a report to change the ways that they dealt with these crimes and the way that they uh, dealt with suspects and how they investigated it, they to chose to ignore it. The police college of policing actively chose to ignore the recommendations of a high court judge absolutely unbelievable west yorkshire police are a big culprit of that they are 100 percent um in on it they are 100 percent in on it they're, all their officers are interested in is convicting people regardless of their innocence they try to tell you that they don't want to convict an innocent man it's absolute rubbish they are talking rubbish if they were genuinely carrying out their role the way that they should do when under caution, people providing an account, they would follow their lines of inquiry. So why aren't they? I can show you numerous cases over and over and over again where under caution, people have provided an account that even pr proves that 
that would prove that the allegations against them are false. Yet these people in that are not even interested in it and do not deal with anybody who provides a false allegation at all, unless it suits them, of course, unless it's in their interest. If it was one of their own in there accused of any of the crimes, they would have it turned round straight away on with some of the stories that we're hearing, some of the stories, some of the allegations that are coming out that we're getting uh, involved in. Uh, and, and just wait for those. You won't believe some of the story. Well, well you, the only people believing it are them in there. Absolutely disgusting.